Last week, we reported on a lawsuit accusing two Miami-Dade officers of excessive force in an arrest outside a Kendall nightclub in 2010. As it turns out, one of those officers, Jose A. Huerta, was recently fired after 10 years on the force. Turns out his firing had nothing to do with lawsuit. Instead, Huerta got the boot for allegedly failing to respond to several emergency dispatches in 2010 including a sexual assault and a child trapped in a car. Even worse, those charges came just months after Weirt was disciplined for using the Department of Motor. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Vehicles database to look up personal information on the boyfriend of a fellow cop. Two years before that, Weirt was reprimanded after a news reporter said he'd grabbed him by the neck to force him away from a crime scene. Riptide wasn't able to get in contact with Weir to comment on this story, but his personnel file lays out a clear picture of why the cope was canned. According to a disciplinary action report filed on April 12, 2012, Weir failed to respond to at least 10 dispatches between September and December 2010. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. In many of those cases, Weir later falsified information on his daily activity report to make it look as if he had cleared or responded to calls when he was instead taking meal breaks with fellow officers. One day in particular, October 5, 2010, Huerta ignored three separate emergency calls. First, he was dispatched to a call of a child locked inside a car in Coral Gables. Huerta, who was at Dadland Mall, waited 10 minutes before even leaving to investigate. By then, the City of Miami officer had already taken care of things. That thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Same day, Weirda failed to respond to a call of a suspicious vehicle, then reported back to dispatch to say that he had, despite surveillance evidence to the contrary. Later that evening, after clearing a traffic crash in Coral Gables, Weirda ignored an emergency violent dispute call at the Cherry Grove apartment complex. Instead, according to the report, he went to a pizza place then stood in the parking lot watching other units speed off to the scene. On November 2, 2010, Weirta was 40 minutes late responding to a sexual assault claim in Thank You for Trying Verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Coral Gables, having instead stopped for a meal at a nearby restaurant. A week later, on November 9, he took a dispatch for a suspicious person reported in front of the wind Dixie. Weirta took the call, but when he got to the store, he parked his car and never got out. What's worse, according to the report, Weirta could see the suspect in front of the Winn-Dixie, but never approached her. Three other disciplinary reports appeared in Weirta's personnel file. In one, filed on March 19, 2012, Weirta was accused of using MDPD computers to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Access the DMV's driver information database. According to the report, on April 24, 2010, Weirda looked up info on the boyfriend of an MDPD female sergeant. The report also alleged that in September that year, the boyfriend asked Weirda to look up information on another person, which he did. Those searches originally landed him a three-day suspension, which was later reduced to a written reprimand. In another report, which was issued on May 3, 2010, Weirda was disciplined for getting physical with a reporter. In June 2009, while working as a detail outside the house of a thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Flame MDPD officer, where it went up to Marcel San Pedro, the local media member, and grabbed him by the neck and left arm and walked him away from the area. That incident also got where a suspension that was later changed to a written reprimand. The September 2009 report concerned where allegedly roughing up a disabled veteran at a metro rail station. That charge landed him in legal trouble, as the victim, Ricardo Fitroa, sued the department and the officer for excessive force. That lawsuit was eventually dismissed, and his internal punishment was a written reprimand. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Where it was terminated on orders of Major Delmino Elpra of the Candle District on September 21, 2012. The firing marked the end of a decade of service. The current lawsuit against Weirta and MDPD remains open.